Hi everybody, I'm Coral. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with the books that I got in December. Some of them were Christmas gifts. Some of them were subscriptions from subscription boxes. And that's about it. There's honestly not that many this month, which means this video won't be 40 fucking minutes long. <laughs> Okay, the first one here is from Thrift Books. I think this was like a leftover from an order I made last month and it just didn't make its way before I filmed that video. Uh, this is The Jonah by James Herbert. This is kind of like the paperbacks from hell kind of a book. I'm going to read the synopsis. It's got this little synopsis, but I think what's really funny is the author's picture is on the back here and it makes it seem like this synopsis is about him. The shadow of his past was always with him, but he never knew what it was or when it would strike next. Sent to a small coastal town to investigate drugs smuggling, Kelso, wait, it says drugs smuggling, which makes it seem like the drugs are smuggling. Um, that's funny. Okay sent to a small coastal town to investigate drugs smuggling. Kelso stumbles onto a dangerous organization and suddenly more than just his life is at stake. It's his past, his future, his sanity. Through the torture and drugs, he discovers the terrifying secret of the Jonah and learns in the most horrifying way that it can destroy him as well as others. The Jonah. I also like that this was a buck 50 in the UK when it came out. Amazing. This um, was published in the 80s. James Herbert is, I think, most well known for The Rats, which I have not read. I've, I've not read any of his books, so someday I'll get to this one. I do really love these creepy, like, fetus stories. There do seem to be a lot of them that came out in the 80s. Okay, the, the next couple here were Christmas gifts. First, I have The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. These are from Zach and um, he gave them to me early. So it is a couple days before Christmas, but these are my Christmas books. This one, man, I've been looking for a used copy of this for forever. I've really been interested in it. Um, I know this goes on to be like a series and I've just heard good things from the people who've read it. This is about Locke Lamora and he is an orphan and he is like tutelaged. He's tootled in the <laughs> in the arts of like lock picking and thievery and he ends up being like, I don't know, a dude who runs a group of thieves. And this really sounds like, Lock Lamora sounds like somebody you'd find at like the, what do they call it? What do they call the thieves guild place in Skyrim? It's like the rats something. Anyways, he'd be living under Riften? It's, oh my gosh, I've played Skyrim for hundreds of hours. I can't believe that I'm having so much trouble with this, but he'd be in Riften. He'd be the leader of the Thieves Guild. I really think that this is, you know, this is a guy who would be in the Thieves Guild, okay? And I'm excited to read this. The next one here is a, the beginning of a YA like fantasy romance series that I've wanted to read. This first one is called Serpent and Dove and it's by Shelby, Shelby Mahurin. That's an interesting last name. So it says, a witch and a witch hunter thrust into holy matrimony. There was only one way such a story could end, a stake and a match. And I think that I don't know. I, I don't know for sure, but I'm anticipating this has one of my very favorite YA tropes where it is enemies, a really good enemies to lovers type of a thing. A lot of books want to do that and not very many of them are very successful at it, but I really do love it when it's done well. And I'm hoping that this is, you know, this will do it. Um, I have a friend who really, really liked this series. So I'm hoping I also like it. This is The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. I have the first three books in this series and I've read the first but haven't gotten to the rest. So I'm hoping that now that I have this fourth one, probably next year, I will just read through the whole series finally. I really did like the first book when I read it, but I'm definitely gonna have to reread it because it's been so long. I'm terrible with series. That was like five years ago probably that I read that. Really need to drop my bullshit is what I need to do. Next here is volume two of Blood on the Tracks by Shuzu Oshimi. 
and I don't really know much about this series. I have the first one and I was like looking over the synopsis of this because they were so, so brief. Like, I just don't, I can't tell you what this is about because I haven't read the first one, but I really want to. So I was reading over the synopsis for the first one and what really struck me here was, okay, Shuzo Oshimi delivers his most unsettling work yet. The tale of a seemingly normal family is suddenly swallowed up by the creeping horror of everyday life. And I just, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm doing it now. I'm putting this on my list for January. I'm so excited to read this and um, you know, I can read the first two volumes. There are definitely a couple more. Okay, and the last one I got as a Christmas gift is the one that I'm probably most excited for. This is Getaway by Zoya Stage. She wrote Baby Teeth, which I really liked, and Wonderland, which I really did not like. This one really sounds interesting. This is about um, two sisters and their mutual friend and they're like trying to kind of reconnect with each other and they go to the Grand Canyon and it turns into some sort of survival story, which is, oh, oh, my favorite. And you know, because they're sort of estranged from each other, like tensions are going to be high. And I'm just, this is a book that's written for me. And I'm really hoping I like this as much as I liked Zoya Stage's very first book, Baby Teeth. I just, I, you know, I'm just, I'm really hoping I love this. That's it. That's all I have to say about it at this point. Um, this one's going on my list to read within the next couple months as well, because I just can't not. Okay. And then from, let's see, subscription box boxes. I think these were both from November. These two fantasy ones. This is from Owl Crate. And this one is called Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. It has a very opulent kind of um, Victorian-y um, thing. And this is about, let's see, a woman named Clementine and there's magic and something to do with like people's nightmares and they have to keep people from having nightmares, but now people are having nightmares. I'm not sure, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Um, this isn't something I'd ever heard of before, but eventually I'll get to it, you know? And this one I'm a little more interested in. This is Jade Fire Gold by June CL10. I really love the colors that they chose for this um, cover. And it says, an empire in an empire on the brink of war. On is no one with no past and no family. Alton is a lost heir, his future stolen away as a child. When they meet, Alton sees on, sees in on a path to reclaiming the throne. On sees a way to finally unlock her past and understand her lethal magical abilities, but they may have to pay a far deadlier price than either could have ever imagined. And um, I know that this is Asian inspired, um, and I really tend to like stories like that with Asian mythology incorporated into the story. I'm not for I'm not for sure sure that Asian mythology has anything to do with this, but. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna find out. And then the last two here are from Nightworms for December and I have a separate unboxing video for that. So I'll just leave a link to that in case you'd like to watch that. This is the Valancourt, Valancourt book of Victorian Christmas Ghost Stories, volume five. And then The Savage Instinct by M.M. DeLuca. So those are the books that I've acquired in December. I'd love to know if any of you have read any of these and what you thought about them, of course. And I, I don't know, I think especially Getaway by Zoya Stage, if you've read her other books and also Getaway and like how those compare to each other with no spoilers, of course, because I really don't like spoilers. But thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Goodbye.